Rebalancing channels is one of the least understood and most frustrating parts of running your very own Lightning node. On the one hand, if you don't have the right liquidity and the right liquidity specifically moving in the right direction at the right time, then you are missing out on powerful sources of income by routing transactions. And yet, on the other hand, Balancing channels can be incredibly expensive, incredibly time consuming, and incredibly frustrating with so many failed routes. But what if I told you that this isn't how the pros do it? That there's actually a way to have all of this done intelligently and automatically by a smart piece of software that knows how to calculate profits, how to find the best routes, and automatically rebalances your channels based on a set of rules that you specify. Well, stick around because in this video, I'm not only going to explain what rebalancing is and how it works, but also how you can do it like a pro. So before we get started, I want to spend a few minutes and just really quickly demonstrate and explain what the heck rebalancing really is. And the best way for me to possibly do that is by showing you some of my channels on my very own anonymous node. Now, I want you to imagine a scenario in which you want to route a transaction or someone wants to route a transaction through you. And that's all well and good. They are more than happy to pay whatever fee it is that you want to claim. And yet, unfortunately, you do not have enough liquidity in the right direction. What that means is you either do not have the ability to receive the amount that they want to send through you through one node or the ability to push out and outgoing send or transfer or forward the amount to another node. So if you look at some of my own channels, you can see here that on my Bolts channel, I can only receive 0.2 million or 200 thousand. So if someone wanted to use bolts to transfer for or through me, they would only be able to transfer 200,000, which is not a whole lot. Whereas conversely, if you look at another of my channels, lnbig.com, if you wanted to send a million sats through my node to lnbig.com, you wouldn't be able to because I would only be able to forward 200,000 satoshis. So how do we solve this problem? Well, there are two schools of thought on the matter. One of them is, well, just go ahead and raise and lower fees accordingly. You can see my price to bolts is 8 PPM, very, very low. Raise those fees accordingly and people will naturally route through you so that I can get more inbound on the bolts channel. But that doesn't really help me if I want to get more outbound on additional channels. And especially that doesn't help me for channels like Wallet of Satoshi, Async, NiceHash, Fixed Float, or BFX, which are what are known as liquidity sinks. What that means is most of the time transactions only go in one direction. And therefore, it's probably never going to happen that you see transactions coming and automatically balancing your channels. It is very rare, if ever, we can actually check in my BFX channel and see it is very, very rare that they would actually send sats through me. And for others, it's even rarer. Now, that number is actually thrown off a little bit because I rebalance as I'm going to explain and show in this video. So that's a great segue into just explaining what is a rebalance? Well, a rebalance or otherwise known as a circular rebalance is basically you just paying yourself with a catch. You are not paying yourself directly, but in a circular fashion. So for example, if I wanted to add outbound liquidity to BFX, in other words, move this blue slider out so that I could send more than 1.3 million Satoshis to BFX and uh, enable my routing cap capacity to grow. Sorry, really hard to talk today. If I wanted to enable more routing to BFX, what I would need to do is send Satoshis from another channel where I have a ton of outbound liquidity, for example, send from Bolts, and then have the Satoshis come in through BFX or Async or Wallet of Satoshi. 
Now, why might I want to do this? I mean, why would I pay the fees? Because you will pay fees to rebalance. Why would I pay the fees to send myself Satoshis in the hopes of being able to route in the future? And that's something we're going to touch on a little bit more towards the end of this video. But I want to cover it here by saying the only reason that you would do this is to abide by the central rule of running a business, which is buy low and sell high. I only want to rebalance if I have an opportunity to earn more than I will pay in rebalancing. For example, I know that async is going to pay 500 PPM, which is a relatively high rate compared to my other ones. So if I know that, and I know that someone else is willing to allow me to rebalance through a bunch of other nodes or a bunch of other hops through async for 300, well, then I can buy that liquidity for 300 and sell it at a profit for 500. And that's really the main reason why I may want to do it. There are other reasons, of course, which include if I want to keep a channel going and I have a channel with a known liquidity sink like BFX, then I may want to route sats in that direction. But again, it's only worth doing it for me if I know that I'm going to profit. Now, of course, profit isn't the only motive. And if you do want to rank higher on something like Terminal Web and you want to have your channels be balanced so that probing payments will show that you have a capacity to receive and send 2 million Satoshis, you may want to do all of this at a loss. But for the most part, the reason that we rebalance or pay to rebalance as opposed to just letting our channels balance themselves by managing the fee policies is really because we sense an opportunity for arbitrage. Now. Up until now, the way that most people rebalance is by one or two different pieces of software. There is, of course, Thunderhub, which I've talked about in many different videos before. But unfortunately, I've never actually been able to get this circular rebalance to work. I've tested and looked at the LNTOP dashboard that I shared in a previous video. And I've figured out that it's actually sending the wrong amounts of payments with the wrong fees, no matter what I put in. So although they have this beautiful balancing view that you can pull up and it'll allow you to sort by balance and then you can hit the balancing view and you can say, okay, I want to receive in this channel because I have nothing here and I want to send uh, from this channel. It actually won't work, at least for me, when I go to actually send the sats. The second way to do it up until now has been with Ride the Lightning or RTL, another tool that I covered elsewhere in the software. And it works pretty well, but it is not so smart in the sense that if you don't calculate things correctly, you may end up losing money by rebalancing on RTL. It doesn't try a ton of different routes, and it doesn't allow you to specify different parameters or any of that. What's the fee you're willing to pay? How much do you want to send? And it tries. Now, all that is well and good. But as I said in the beginning of the video, this can take a ton of time to try each route individually. If I have 20 or 30 channels with outbound liquidity and I'm trying to balance four or five, you do the math, right? It's 20 to the power of five to try and rebalance those channels. And that's before you start with, hey, let's try low fees and then high fees and then higher fees. You can end up spending hours and hours and hours of your life trust me, I'm speaking from experience here, trying to rebalance your channels and you may completely get failures as you do it. Now, of course, I've talked about in previous videos tools like Balance of Satoshis, which allow you to do this from a command line with much more granular control. And actually, after my recent video of advanced tools, I reached out to Karsten Otto and I shared the video with him. And he informed me that I completely missed the point of what his tool, Rebalance LND, does. And he was right. I really didn't get it. And so I have to give a huge shout out to Karsten, who spent two hours on the phone with me, not only helping me get it installed so I could share with all of you how to use it, but explaining to me word for word and piece for piece exactly how the software works. And you guys, it is freaking genius. OK, so here's how the pros rebalance. When I rebalance a channel, there's a couple things that I need to figure out. And one of them is, of course, how much can I make on the channel as I go and send it out? So for example, if we look here and we look at my BFX channel, which is a great example, I know that I can make 750 PPM. 
But that's not the only thing that matters, because let's say that I send from Wallet of Satoshi at 500 ppm. I'm not only profiting the additional ability to profit at 750, but I am foregoing the opportunity to profit at 500 ppm. Now, that's a little confusing, so I want to try and explain that in a different way. As I send out sats from a channel that has all the funds on my end, I'm not only profiting or, or taking advantage of the opportunity to send out on the receiving channel where I now will get the sats, but I have to consider how much opportunity cost or how much opportunity to make funds am I foregoing? If you don't figure that out and you just look at the 750, then your calculations will be wrong. And that's where Rebalance LND comes in, this genius piece of software, which Karsten humbly calls a small script. What Rebalance LND does is it does all the probing and pathfinding and route finding, but it also takes into consideration the profit that you will make on the destination channel where you rebalanced and how much profit you are foregoing on each one of the channels that it tries. And then it gives you a beautiful graphical printout that shows you exactly how it works. Now I'm gonna to get to that in a second, but first I wanna explain exactly how we go ahead and install this script. It's a quick one. If you aren't worried about it and you wanna see if it's worth installing the script, you can skip ahead. I'll put the exact timestamp in the description, but I think it makes sense first to explain how exactly we install this thing. So we, in order to have this installed, whether you're on Umbral, MyNode, Raspberry Blitz, or your own integration that you have built with LND, you have to have Python installed. Now, in order to do that, all you have to do is do pip install r requirements.txt. For me, it was pip3. So pip3 install r requirements.txt. Now, I'm assuming, of course, you know how to get into a command line. If you don't, Google command line and your node implementation, for example, command line umbral. I can tell you off the top of my head for umbral, it's ssh-t umbral at umbral.local. Enter your password and you are in. Then all you need to do is install the Python dependencies. From there, you do need to know how to do a git clone. I recommend that you create an upgrades folder such as slash mnt slash data slash upgrades and do that on the SSD, especially for you Umbrellians, so that every subsequent operating system update when you flash the SD card will not erase this because if you put it in slash data, it will go on the actual hard disk and it will not be overwritten. From there, all you need to do is do git clone, and I'll of course put this in the comments and maybe even write a guide, and do git clone and then this. Copy paste this from GitHub. I will link this right in the description. Git clone, GitHub slash rebalance LND, da 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 da. And hit enter while you are in the right folder. That's an important thing I forgot to mention. Make sure that you're in the right folder and then just clone this entire repository in there and it will install it. It may take 10 to 15 minutes, but it will install it and you will be good to go. Now, let's get to the good part. Are you ready to see what this thing can do? Because honestly, when it finally dropped, the ball finally dropped and Carson showed this to me, it blew my mind, all right? So let me show you all how it works. I apologize, we're gonna blur out the channel IDs and a good portion of the names of the channels because as you can see, it will show your node name and I don't like to share my node name, but also the channel IDs will actually be a way for you to find out what my node is. So we're, we're blurring a lot here, but it's still gonna make a whole lot of sense. Now, the first command that you need to know when you run rebalance LND, and honestly, don't be intimidated by all of this because you can just copy paste them from a guide, which maybe I'll write, or maybe by the time I get this edited, someone else will have written a guide, I'm sure. Okay, first command you need to know, and you can see here, once you have used them before, you can just up arrow and you don't have to retype them, is the destination. As you see, I installed it in upgrades slash rebalance.py dash C dash C stands for dash channels. We hit that and it is going to show me all the channels that I have sorted in order of which ones need the most rebalancing. Now, this is really, really smart what Carson did here because you'll see it's not just according to which ones have the least funds, but actually it's according to proportional balance and fees and how far away I am from having 1 million sats, which is his kind of standard of routing. So this is an intelligent sorting 
that will show me, you can see here, I mean, this channel is smaller, but it's not a huge rush to rebalance. So this is actually proportionally sorted, which I just think is really cool. You can see here, I have a bunch of channels that I might wanna rebalance. Um, of course, you can see all the channel names, but you can't see the channel IDs, which are on the far left side. We'll blur part of that so that you'll be able to see some of it. And we can go ahead and pick a channel that we want to rebalance, okay? Let's go ahead and say, for the purposes of this video, hmm, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, pick a tiger, buy his toe. Let's pick Wallet of Satoshi. Wallet of Satoshi is a, a really great uh, channel that routes a whole ton of sats and usually has pretty high fees, and hopefully uh, I won't have an embarrassing mishap where the script doesn't find a route. All I need to do is now copy that. I'm gonna do copy here because sometimes the keyboard acts weird in terminal, I don't know why. And then I'm just gonna scroll through my history again because I'm lazy and, uh, and I, w I don't wanna make a typo. And there are a couple things I want to share with all of you that you need to learn. The first is dash T, and you need to learn that. These are parameters that you put in which are telling the script what you're communicating to it. And again, if this is confusing to you, you can go on the rebalance LND and you will see all of these things that I'm explaining in a slightly more technical, scary font that looks different because it's copied code. But all of this is right here uh, in the guide. So don't feel like you need to memorize this. You can have from channel to channel, dash T, which is what I'm teaching right now as we speak, incoming, outgoing, to be honest with you, I don't know how to use all that, but this is just a way to list things, show all, incoming, outgoing. Don't worry about all that. Just pay attention to me, stick with me here. Eyes on me, eyes on the prize. And we are going to just explain the stuff that you need to know because Karsten frankly told me, the majority of you don't need to know 90% of this. You need to know the three commands that I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna show them. So stick around, don't leave, don't get intimidated. We're here, I got you, we got this, okay. So back to the command line. First thing you need to know is dash T because I want to send funds to that channel. Now, Carson did point out to me, it really only makes sense to rebalance in a few different scenarios. I'm going to get to that towards the end of the video. I'm too excited to share this with all of you. But know that the dash T is probably your best bet. You probably don't want to rebalance uh, from channels. We'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm now copy pasting the channel ID. Uh, and then I have this dash A. Well, what does dash A mean? Dash A means the amount, okay? You could type it longer, uh, but dash A is the easiest, fastest way, dash A or dash dash amount. And that just tells it how many sets do I want to balance, okay? Now let's count those zeros. Whoa, what happened there? Let's just try 100,000. Now, are you guys ready for the magic? Because this part is crazy. All I have to do is hit enter. And now watch as the magic happens. First things first, the script is going to say, hey, what's our fee limit? Well, right now I'm charging 500 PPM for Wallet of Satoshi. So that's what we can afford. All right, now it's just gonna go down the line. We're gonna blur a little bit of this so you don't see my node, but it's testing all the different routes. Route number one, it finds a temporary channel failure. Route number two, it actually finds a way to do it, but says, hey, this is exactly what I was talking about before. It says that, hey, we would make an expected future income with Wallet of Satoshi of 500 sats. It would cost 40 sats, 40.6 sats is what it figured out at 4.05 PPM, which is great, right? But it's not because actually we're missing out on future fees from this channel. So if you didn't consider the future fees that we could make on the Green Pepe channel, you would think that this would be great. Hey, I'm making money, but actually you'd be losing 11 sets. So it will just continue doing this and it will test every possible different route. Some channel failures, some calculations you can see are narrowly there. And if you weren't using this rebalancing script, you could think, you would think that this was a really profitable rebalance. I'm only paying 450 or 432 and I'm getting 500, but it's not so simple, young Padawan. And you'll see it will try a ton of routes. This is actually LND doing the route finding. And at the end, hopefully, after trying 15, 16, 17 routes, of course, Murphy's Law will come into play and it will fail for, oh, there we go. It actually worked. So let's look what happened. I increased my outbound liquidity on Wallet of Satoshi, which is worth 500 PPM for me by 100,000 sats. I increased my inbound liquidity on Bolts which I typically charge 8 PPM. 
Now we're gonna block all these other channels and channel IDs and everything, so sorry about the blurs, but you can see that I essentially gave up eight PPM. I paid 40 sats and I will profit on that route 500 per million. The math here is a little tricky and one piece of feedback that I gave Karsten was, show me also the exact mathematical calculation, hopefully he will integrate that soon, for successful routes so I can see how much I paid and how much I expect to pay and how much I forfeited on the actual future routing to the channel that I rebalanced. So now if we go back to my Thunder Hub, we can see I mean, it's a small amount, it's only 100,000 and we're logged out, so it doesn't matter. But we could see that I rebalanced. Now, this is really, really genius. This profit calculation is so genius. And I wanna put a little screenshot up right now on the screen and show you because as I said, Rebalance LND is a special kind of rebalancing script because it abides by the central law of running a business. And let's face it, according to the US infrastructure bill, we're all brokers and we're all running a business if we run a lightning node. So that central rule abides and is so important for us. Buy low and sell high. You can see in the screenshot, I bought liquidity to Wallet of Satoshi at a certain price and then immediately sold it at a significantly higher price. What a beautiful thing, right? Now there are some other things I wanna walk you through on this script that are equally important. Uh, one of them is the idea of fee factor, okay? I can type fee factor and say, hey, I want you to calculate the fee as if it were. For example, if I know I'm going to change my fee to Wallet of Satoshi up or down, I could run this and say, hey, actually I want you to try and do this for only 0.85 of the fee. So what it will then do is say, okay, I'm assuming a fee of 425, not 500, even though normally it would be 500, I'm gonna assume a fee of 425. And the other way around works as well. If it's worth it to you for some reason to rebalance in a certain direction, you could increase the fee factor higher. And hey, look at that, I rebalanced again at 406. Now, one thing I wanna point out that's super genius is LND is very smart. It only had to try one or two routes this time because it already tried last time, let's see, 16 different routes and determined that they didn't work. So for the next two hours, this script will be more efficient and more effective. All right, now let's get to the caveats before I share with you how to actually automate this whole thing for you. A couple of caveats here that are really, really important. The first one being it only makes sense to run this two channels where you know how much you are going to earn and you have actually demonstrated and proved that you will earn that amount. Basically what's happening when this rebalance script runs is it is heavily factoring in how much you stand to profit from your actual rebalance and how much you will profit on the route where you've sent the Satoshis. Now that's really, really important. And if that number isn't proven and you haven't done a ton of routing, for example, if it's a new channel, this is not a good idea because that profit calculation will not be correct and you will end up spending more than you receive. Now this also applies for if you're using something like charge LND to automatically calculate your fees. Because if you are calculating on a proportional basis and you push more sats in, the script is gonna say, hey, great, we're making 500 on async or wallet of Satoshi. And as soon as you rebalance, it's gonna lower that and by definition, you are going to now lose money. So for any channel that you plan on using this script as the destination, the dash T, you need to disable your automatic fee routing or you need to use the dash dash fee factor and calculate it in. So if, for example, you're running anywhere from, let's say, let's make them easy numbers, 250 to 500 on the destination channel, then you better be safe and run the rebalancing script with a fee factor of 0.5 so that you always know that you're gonna make more profit. And that's what the fee factor is in there for, for if you have weird little strange exceptions and you don't want the script to miscalculate your profits and end up putting out more money than you receive. Now, Karsten does not recommend that you use this 
for outbound rebalancing. In other words, getting rid of liquidity in a channel where you have too much, but rather do the cool thing and support the network and lower the fees as low as zero to get that liquidity out if you want to, and then set the fees higher. Now, you might be wondering, okay, but does this mean that I need to completely disable charge L&D or automatic fee balancing if I wanna use this script? And the answer is no, you actually don't you really don't have to worry about any of the channels going outbound because actually what's gonna happen is if you're using proportional, then when you send out the funds, the price is actually gonna go up. So the essentially the calculation, as you can see, the foregone profit calculation is just going to be a little bit lower, which means that you're actually gonna profit more than the script actually anticipates. So let's make sure that I have this right. As you send more funds out of the channel and into the other channel, the fees are actually going to go up. And while the script thinks that you're only forgoing this amount, you're actually forgoing less because future transactions, you're going to earn a higher rate. So on that side of things, your profit will actually be higher. The only place, as I said, that you really need to be careful is if you are using dynamic fee structuring and rebalancing and setting and automation and whatnot on the channel that is receiving. If you do that, make sure to use fee factor or just disable it as I have, because frankly, you should know if you're using the script roughly what the given rates are. And you probably shouldn't change them anyway because you're now paying. I mean, as you can see, I'm paying 406. So it's no longer an option for me to lower wallet of Satoshi to 400 when I'm feeling generous because I will essentially lose money on the liquidity that I have bought. Okay, so now are you ready for the really exciting part? Because what's the point of doing this if you still have to log in and do it periodically? Well, what if I told you that you could set this to run every hour, two hours, or three hours completely automatically? In order to do that, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is type cron tab dash E anywhere in your command line, and you will see, da da, a list of cron tabs. I will share some of this in the description or like I said, create a write-up. But essentially what you can do with this fancy line of code is tell it every for example, every three hours at the 10th minute of the hour, do what I just did. And then you can tell it something like min remote. For example, I want the minimum remote to be 2 million sats. So if it gets to the point where there's already less than 2 million sats, then don't try to run this thing. But you can run this every three hours. Karsten actually did recommend to me not running it every hour or every minute or anything like that because it will first off, get out of control. And it may try a lot of different routes and take hours to run. So you can see, I have these spaced out 30 minutes apart, each running every three hours, and just trying to rebalance these channels, which I've blurred here, but trying to rebalance the channels where I know what I'm going to earn. Now there is a website, Crontab Guru, which will help you check that you have these correct so that you don't accidentally end up running it three times a second, which you could technically do here. It's best to run these every two to three hours. And again, only on channels that you know you're going to earn a profit from. Now, uh, unfortunately, I can't show you my Telegram because I have a ton of sensitive stuff in there, but it is really, really cool to get my boss notifications on Telegram every three hours telling me that I have rebalanced the channel at the fee that I've rebalanced. And then as I showed you in this screenshot that I shared before, just seeing how the funds flow in and then flow back out at a higher profit point. It is so cool, so powerful. And I know that you are going to increase not only your routing, but also your profitability with this technique. So huge shout out to Karsten Otto, who was super generous with his time dealt with me juggling a crying baby and explained to me for two hours how this worked before I got it through my thick skull, took the time to help me set it up, make some recommendations for me, and just an incredibly generous guy who wrote a really, really genius script. And I hope you all enjoy it. And if you do, please make sure to tip Karsten, send him a key send to his lightning node, or just follow him on the various social media. All right, there you have it. How to rebalance your channels like a complete pro. If you've enjoyed this video, there's a few different ways that you can show love. One, subscribe to the channel. We just crossed a thousand subscribers. It is huge and we cannot wait for all the new features that we are rolling out now that we are past the thousand person mark. In addition, I would love it if you commented below, give me requests for videos, like, share, favorite, whatever. Tip 
If you want, there's a lightning tip box below where you can tip some sats. And I appreciate you all, and thanks for watching.